Well, Mama told me when I was young. Sit, sit beside. Yes, welcome back. And um, this video, we will go over this whole studio walk area. So if you haven't caught some of the past videos or you're new, basically inside of Adventure Point, we have Studio Walk. And it is a um, kind of like a, uh, not a total recreation of City Walk, but, um, you know, at Universal, but heavily inspired. And uh, when you leave, you have the decision right here at this path to go on to, whoops, let me get down here. To go on to Frontier Pass, or if you turn off and go through the tunnel here, that brings you into Studio Walk. And basically, it's a bunch, it's a whole themed area of just movie rides or um, implied movie rides, kind of like the Transformers 3D ride is. I made uh, Optimus Prime and, and, you know, a photo spot with Bumblebee and all that. But it's it's not actually it's just a um, an, an empty building, so it's totally just a facade. Maybe in the future I'll go in maybe on a separate map and actually make an indoor uh, transformer ride. But for right now, this is just uh, totally uh, totally implied. And once they get in here, they can either go off to the east towards Bates Motel and um, a, a new kind of little. Um, might as well show you this while I'm in here. I'm kind of. Trying to, I've started a little elevated kind of shopping area, like a little pavilion up here with a waterfall that comes out from underneath. So I'll start fixing that up, doing some shops and maybe a whole upper level of rides and stuff up there. But um, that is not what we're on to right now. Um, but yeah, anyways, and then if you go off to the west, um, you've got the other section of, uh, of Studio Walk got a little uh, loony balloons and all that and when, and when you make your way around this corner you get to the studio tour section made just a little fake uh, studio facade like they could take guests in and show them some of the different sound stages and all that um, I put up a fake little green screen here so people could walk up and uh, I figured maybe in, in a in a situation like this you could have a, like a photographer here or something and they could green screen and maybe a scene from one of your favorite movies in the back and have you standing there and like get your picture or take a little video that you could um, you could later maybe buy inside the studio tour you know after you look at it. And then once you get past that, I don't know if I'll keep Red's Drive in here. I kind of just put that there as a little filler building for now since I just, it was just grass right here. But then you have, um, I recreated the Ecto-1 from Ghostbusters. Just kind of just a little prop vehicle out here to take pictures from. Then um, yesterday evening I was watching uh, Delady Signer's um, Rio Bravo, kind of like a, a mine tra or canyon runner kind of mine train. Uh, kind of park she's doing and she was talking about or they were talking about Back to the Future and, and Marty McFly and all that in there so I thought oh that'd be kind of cool let me try to build let me try to rebuild the DeLorean so I have did this side of it um, still needs a lot of work I haven't even finished this side so this isn't on the workshop yet I still got to finish this side up and uh, and add a couple more details to it but yeah that is that and uh, Ecto-1, yes, it is ready. It is um, on the, this is a build that I did um, when I didn't have this side finished. But um, Ecto-1 is completely ready and it is out there on the workshop. And I'll link that in the description box below. And the, that is where these tools set right now. I, I eventually want to, uh, may even put it right here. Either right there or possibly over here could do it back here at this turn but I want to build um, I want to build the Ghostbusters station so um, extra actually even was kind enough he, he actually come up with a really cool uh, Ghostbusters logo um, that I hadn't even tried but let me show you if I can find it here and I think it will work out perfect on the building let's see where is it I gotta go through and get rid of some of this stuff I don't use, but yeah, here it is right here, and I think this will work out on the. Uh, yeah, there we go. So I will place that on my uh, 
station when I get it done. That <laughs> that is a pretty awesome job. I really like that. So that will really bring that building together. So yeah, big shout out to him for helping me with that, getting that built. And yes, so this is pretty much it, guys. I uh, I really like how Studio Walk turned out. Um, the next big thing is, though, I have got to get the... Uh, so this is kind of the little front area when you're walking off that way. I have got to start on the actual Mad Max Fury Road coaster. Um, I want to go with the launch theme coaster on it, so... Pretty much the station will uh, the station will probably start over here, right around in this area, and I'll have the queue maybe come bend back through here, and I'll have this kind of themed out, and uh, yeah, the uh, the Mad Max launch coaster will probably take up this area. Don't know if it'll take up as much space as Fire Mountain does, but since it's going to be pretty much Studio Walks. Uh, main attraction it will uh it'll also probably be decent size so yeah that is uh that is what i've got going on and once um once mad max is finished and i do the ghostbuster station that should pretty much wrap up studio walk and uh then the hard part is i don't know what to go on to next um, you think with adventure themed, I probably need to do something pirate like maybe able to even turn this area into the beginning of the uh, of the pirate section, maybe just extend this lagoon out here and uh, maybe just start the whole pirate theme. So we'll have the movie theme frontier pirate eventually got to do some kind of sci fi may start some Star Wars stuff. Uh, especially with some of Mufu T's pieces out that way. So, uh, yeah, guys, anyways, um, give me a thumbs up if you end up enjoying. Subscribe for more Planet Coaster content and to keep up with what I'm doing here. And, uh, yeah, thank you, guys, and I will catch you next time.